Okay, we're gonna take a quick look at um, we'll change to or an update enhancement to the build link tool. So, um, if you've worked with Mark Edit in the past uh, and you've uh, played it all with the um, URL linking, um, you'll know that Mark Edit has the ability to uh, create URIs um, inside of Mark Records. It's been there for a while. This link data tool. Um, one of the new features, though, that's been added is that uh, folks have been asking for a while if they can process data um, that lives either in an Excel sheet um, or a delimited file. So I have uh, an Excel sheet here. So you have a list of um, uh, name of authority headings um, that's in one column. Um, this was a file that was sent to me, and so some folks were trying to guesstimate how to construct the URI. So um, rather than do that, what we'll do is we will go ahead and close this and we'll use this tool. And so we'll just go ahead and look for the XML file. And this works with either the binary or the um, binary or the XML X, uh, uh, Excel file format. It'll, you have to save it into whichever um, Excel format you were working in. So if you open a binary file, it has to save the binary file. If you open it as a um, XML um, Excel file, you have to save it as a Excel um, XML Excel file. So you'll see that when I selected the XML the Excel file, it uh, showed me all the worksheets that are inside of the uh, Excel file. In this case, there's the one. Um, and then it lists all the columns. So the column I need to look at is column one. Uh, that was the one that had the, uh, the lookup assets. You'll see that these are turned off because at this point, the tool really has no idea what's a main entry or subject ID. So you tell the tool which uh, vocabulary you're looking at. So in this case, it's a mixture of name and subject authorities. And so we'll go ahead and process it. Um, it tells you there are 21 records in the set. It goes ahead and processes and it's finished. So we can now go back to um, the uh, back to the file. Uh, so here's the file we just created. And if we open it up in Excel, we'll see that uh, the URI has been embedded next to a new column is created next to the uh, data that's looked up and if it can resolve um, the name or the subject authority uh, and add them into the resource. You'll see a handful of them are found. These two actually don't exist inside of uh, the id.lc.gov. Um, I hadn't checked to see uh, about these other ones. Uh, could be that there's just, uh, they may be ambiguous. Um, uh, again, hadn't looked, taken a look. So. Anyways, uh, you can see if this works. Um, I've been working with it. Um, so as you're doing just one lookup, it works the same way as the, uh, the tool generally. It caches items on lookup, so that way it has them, so it only has to look up items once, um, at least uh, over the course of the, the lifetime of a session. Um, and it uh, processing one record at a time it seems to go pretty quickly. It can process uh, you know, 5,000 records and about a minute or so is what I've been seeing as long as id.lc.gov uh, is, is fairly responsive um, and uh, the um, connection that you have is fairly low lat latency. Um, now this, like I said, would work with a tab delimited file. In a tab delimited file it does the same thing. It uh, takes the data from the column that you've selected uh, and will create a uh, column next to it for a URI where that data should exist. Um, this works in both the um, Windows and the Mac version, so uh, the, you'll be in the current version. It's available, so you can give it a try. Let me know if you have questions.